Are you tired of bad coffee while camping? Well, I was, so I started using this pour over method to make more coffee and better coffee. And so far, it's been absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna talk about how I go about that today, but first, let me introduce myself. I am Meander and Mitch, and I wouldn't consider myself a coffee snob by most people's definitions, but after having some not so great coffee while camping, I knew I had to switch something up. So this is my attempt to do that, and it's been working pretty great so far. And we're gonna talk about exactly how I go about it, but first, I just wanna talk about what exactly I have here. So first thing you're gonna need is water of some kind, and then a pour over, of course. So this pour over in particular was from Walmart. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. It comes with the glass that you pour into, a cone funnel, a little scooper for your coffee, as well as a plug. Once you're done, you put it in here and it kind of seals it a little bit. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more of a uh, controlled flow. And then after that, obviously you need some coffee. Um, this was on clearance. It's not normally my go-to, but it is a citrus caramel milk chocolate notes. Um, and I've been doing a lot more um, iced coffee at home, so I got this one. And it was pretty good the other day when I had it. I have not had it warm yet, but we'll see. You need a fuel source of some kind and a stove of some kind. I'm using a backpacking and a butane canister for this particular but you can use regular fire or a propane stove or the sun if you really are that determined. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter too much what, you, what heat source you use, but you need something. Uh, a mug of some kind and then something to heat up your water in. So basically what I'm going to do is fill this up with water, start heating it up. While I do that, I'm going to put the coffee in the pour over, get it ready, and then just go around with the pour over method. So let's get started. Full disclosure, this does take a little bit longer than most other methods if you're making like one cup of coffee. Um, just because there is a lot of there, there are, uh, just because there are a lot of you know really quick, simple single cup methods, instant cups, uh, maca pots, which I'll actually be talking about a maca pot um, in another video. So if you wanna check that out, um, so if you wanna see that, drop a comment below. Um, if I get enough interest, I'll do a video on that as well. All right, so, get this thing rolling. That is a TikTok purchase. I got this as well as this little pot case for like 12 bucks off of TikTok. Uh, my first TikTok purchase, and so far, I mean, seems pretty decent. So we'll see, see how that goes. I will say some people measure out their coffee, some people measure out their water, all that fun stuff. I'm not that picky. Um, again, not the full coffee snob yet, but if you wanna have a more consistent coffee, you probably wanna measure out how much water you use as well as how much coffee you use. Um, it will make it a lot easier to have a consistent base. You motherfucker. Well. Bird just shit on me. A little bird, thank God. And thank God it wasn't a few more inches Upward, because it would have gone straight in my bag of coffee. So I'm not quite sure the amount of water. I'm going to make this like I would be making it if I was camping. So we're going to go three scoops. And we're going to leave it at that. So now we just got to wait for this to boil. And once that does, I'll pour it over and uh, I'll be right back with you. So we got some steam coming off, so it looks like our coffee is officially ready. Um, as you can see, a couple scoops in the filter, cup's ready, and here we go. I'm just going to shut this off. I'm gonna turn it up. So that is off. We now have our water ready. And what we're gonna do is pour this over slowly and get enough water in there. 
I believe it's called blooming. So you're gonna swirl your coffee, get all of your coffee grounds nice and moist. And you're gonna let it sit for a little bit. I don't know if that was quite enough, but we're gonna let it sit and see what happens. Now, if you are a true coffee snob, you will probably know the details of exactly what to do with this and all that fun stuff. If you are not, all I'm going to say is, I like the taste of this coffee. I drink coffee almost every day. So take that for what you will. Am I an expert? No, but I like my coffee. Coffee tastes good. Good coffee, yeah. So we'll do this a few more times. There's not a ton of water left in here. So we'll see how much we go. Um, you can do this with more water if you'd like, more coffee if you'd like. Um, I made coffee the other day where I filled up this whole thing with I think five scoops of coffee and then did the pour over until I was out of water uh, or until it was full of water. Um, and again, th that was at home. So I drank it for like a day and a half. I didn't drink the entire thing that day, although I could have. Um, but the nice thing about this is you can use it at home. You can take it camping. It doesn't take up that much additional room. So if you really like your coffee, get one of these. If you don't like making coffee for multiple people in multiple little batches, get one of these. You can make a lot more than most of the other camping methods. So check it out, pretty cheap. Um, and we're gonna skip to the end of this one. So you don't have to use this little uh, stopper, but you can. As you can see, this little cutout, uh, it goes towards your spout just to funnel your coffee a little bit, pushes down in there and you're good. Nice thing about this one is, this is really hot. This is really hot. The cork is a nice uh, bonus just to not burn your hands, but not necessary, just a little bit of a comfort. And then we will begin to pour. Good bit of coffee left, and we got our first cup of the day. So while we wait for this to cool off so I can do a little taste test, I have a question for you. How exactly have you made coffee while camping in the past or just coffee in general? What is your favorite kind of coffee? What is there anything special that you have to do with that kind of coffee? I, I like coffee, but I don't know a ton about it yet. I just know that this is an easy way to make it while camping. So I figured I would share that bit, but I think I might dive into better coffee a little bit more and uh, this has definitely been motivating me to do that just because why not? If you're going to do it and you can do it a little bit better, why not? So yeah, that's my question. What kind of coffee you drink? How have you made it? All that fun stuff. So it's almost cooled off completely, but before I taste it and let you know how it is, I got one last thing. And that is if you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a subscribe. I'm doing this to try to reduce excuses for people to not go camping do gear reviews and all that fun stuff. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, but let's uh, give it a taste and see how it is. Mm. It's still pretty hot, so I can't take a big gulp, but. Mm. That is some of the best coffee I've had while camping, even though technically I'm not camping camping right now, but um, everything I've done, you can take with you. It is so good. I had this coffee cold the other day and it was solid, but I think I like it more hot. <clears throat> also, I forgot to mention this, but I, I drink my coffee black. If you want stuff to take while you're camping, there are alternatives to, you know, creamer and whatnot where you have to refrigerate it. Um, 
So we can do a video about that if it's something you're interested in as well. But I drink my coffee black, so this is what I got for now. Uh, that's all I got for this video. I appreciate you sticking around this far, and until next time, peace.